Hey my air signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, cross watchers are welcome here as well. This is your weekly energy update anywhere from the 9th of January through the 15th, give or take a couple of days, you guys, this is for you. It is a very general message. It's not private. It's not personal. So just take what you feel resonates and leave what does not for the next person. Um, but please don't make it fit if it's not your situation. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out where to start with you guys because... A total of three songs I pulled for you, Air Signs. Uh, three because the first two were just very repetitive. I've been getting the songs often, okay, for the collective. But I do feel as if it does tie into your energy. So the first song was You Right by Doja Cat. Um, and then the second song was Pursuit of Happiness. I think it's Kid Cudi. Um, so the song You Write by Doja Cat is basically about being in a situation. I feel like you guys are in a situation or a relationship that you're not happy with. Okay, that is a romantic type of song, but it doesn't have to be. I just feel like you're in some sort of situation you're not happy with um, and you're seeking guidance or comfort elsewhere so this could be another person if it's romance or another something okay um and then a pursuit of happiness it's like you're looking for a way out or you're looking for your happiness or you're trying to find your true self or your true happiness or your your true truth something like that this week um and the third song got me a little emotional and it's crazy because i've been intuitively thinking about this song for about a week now um and it's dirty laundry by kelly Rowland. so it is an older song um crazy enough kelly Rowland, i think is a she's an aquarius okay so this could be specifically for aquarius or maybe some of you guys are dealing with another air sign an aquarius um but nonetheless for all of the the air signs dirty laundry i feel like you guys there's some sort of um, tough situation I feel like you're either still in or you've been dealing with. I feel like you guys have been suffering in silence in regards to some sort of mistreatment, um, whether this is at work, in a family dynamic, a, a relationship, whatever it is for you. Um, and this week, you might be airing out the dirty laundry or you might be speaking up or speaking to someone who can potentially help you or it's just something that you've been going through. And I feel like air signs, you carry it so well, people would never know that this is your situation. Unfortunately, that particular song of Dirty Laundry um, is about Kelly being involved in a very abusive relationship. So um, this could be your situation, air signs, or this could be the situation of someone in your environment. Somebody could be coming to you, expressing to you something that they've been experiencing. Um, and it may be very hard to believe, but that's just what's going on okay um if this is your your situation um i just advise that you guys make the best and safest decision you feel is possible but something about this week um could be just like a final straw or a last straw or a breaking point whereas you are finally airing out something some sort of secret something that's been brushed underneath the rug how somebody has been treating you it's something it's exposure it's something like that um that's happening this week so the cards that fell out i'm gonna put them back but we have the light card okay we have this it's kind of like you guys are you could be seeking help okay seeking some sort of counseling or therapy or getting out light you could be getting out of this um very low vibrational situation if this is resonating for you then we have positive movement forward okay so some of you guys are taking the steps necessary to separate yourself from whatever situation relationship energy this is and we have love begins and it could just be you really loving on yourself um or just just kind of really coming to a place where is it's time for a change here all right, um, however that resonates for you. And then we also have prosperity begins here and we have solitude. So yeah, you guys are separating. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo somewhere highly aspected in your chart. Um, we have movement choices, decisions, and disruption here. So um, a lot of you guys are finding a way out of a situation um, that's just not for you. It's not treating you right. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what comes out. 
if you haven't already, you guys, please go ahead and like the video. Um, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more push you, um, your energy into these messages, and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. I can't even really get my energy right just because the, the energy of that song is so heavy. Um, then I saw the mental conflicts here. So, and even if it isn't to the extreme, um, I mean, it could be abuse in any form. It could be mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. But even if it isn't necessarily the extreme of like a physical abuse, um, even though those other forms of abuse are just as extreme, it's like you could just be really expressing yourself or opening up to people or someone specifically um, about some sort of traumatizing situation that you have been dealing with. All right. So let's see, spirit. What messages do we have for the air signs this week? I think I'm going to do the spreads a little bit differently. Um, you guys, I did do it different for the water signs and the earth signs. Um, so let's just see what comes out. We have this temptation card though. Okay. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. You don't have to, but this is just, I'm just hearing the devil. I mean, this is the devil card. Okay. Um, and the Oracle compared to the tarot. But there's a very toxic situation. This is what it is. Toxicity here. Wisdom. Okay. Taurus energy too. You could just be choose wisely. Like, you know, it's time for you to get out of something, but you have to do it um, strategically or you had to do it strategically. Um, you could just be telling your story. Okay. You could be telling your story. Maybe this is a situation that you are, you know, you're so far removed from, but maybe someone else. You could be encountering someone else who was going through the same things that you went through and you're telling your story. Balance and firm foundation, okay? So I feel like that's what's ahead for you guys. A um, couple of more shuffle spirit. What messages do we have for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for this week. I just keep like hearing traumatized, like some sort of traumatizing situation. Um, that you guys are either still in or you've been, you've dealt with in the recent past. And there's some sort of opening up about this happening this week. So we got new beginnings. All right. New beginnings. Zero. Starting from the ground up. Then we have emotional withdrawal. Healing. I feel like you guys need to heal. Okay. So maybe you're going through like a healing process. Um, I don't know why I want to say some sort of mourning process or grief. Um, and it can still apply depending on your situation, but there's healing here, but it, it requires you to leave. Some of you guys are just really leaving a very toxic situation and isolating yourself. And it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Okay. I feel like it is for a lot of you guys, but it could be a toxic work environment. Um, something like that. And you just, and if you aren't leaving, this is like a spirit message for you to close the door in this situation the best way you can, the best way that you know how, so that you can emotionally withdraw um, you need to walk, there's something that you really need to walk away from here, uh, air signs that you guys are struggling with, or you have, okay? So maybe you've done this already at the time that you're watching this, or you will do this at some point this week. Yep. And it's successful. We got triumphant success. What else there? Solar plexus. It's like you're getting the courage, okay? To, um, separate from something here or to kind of just like end something heartache and loss. Yeah. Holding it all together. You got two threes here. The number three could be significant or the number 33. Some of you guys could be 33 watching me. Um, or even March. Somebody's birthday could be March the 3rd. Um, some of you guys just really need the encouraging message and confirmation of you can get through this. Because I feel like... Um, even with separating from whatever, whoever this is, it's still a challenge. It's still going to be a, sh a struggle here emotionally. Um, but it's not, it's not like it's something that you guys cannot get through. What else, Spirit? Patience and planning. Okay, so some of you guys have been planning to make this escape or to separate or to open up and express, you know, what you've been through. Um, or some of you guys... Suffering in silence. Yeah, you got emotional withdrawal with suffering in silence here. A lot of y'all are trying to get away from something, okay? Whatever this toxicity is for you, destiny, yeah, you ha you've you had enough. This is card number 10. This is a completion, and it's paired with card number one, so some sort of new start. There's an end to a cycle here. There's an end to some sort of suffering. You got the crown chakra clarifying your solar plexus. Like, you know... That you have to act on something here. 
Okay, a lot of you guys are battling something alone. Like nobody really knows what you're going through. And you got the base chakra here. Something about your security, your stability. Um, you could just be very emotional or it's, it's something about a breaking point this week, okay? Um, or something about like you really, something about this week is like you really trying to put on this face um and act as if whatever is going on here isn't going on or act like you're not going through something emotionally don't try to be like superman superwoman air signs um if you need to talk to somebody talk to somebody if you need help seek help um because that's just the vibe that i'm i'm picking up on and then we got emotional loss here yeah we got emotional loss with trying for success and destiny um for some of you this is another three partnerships and alliances, discontent and boredom, spiritual strength. For some of you, this it it could be some sort of like anniversary or something of someone that you might have lost. Okay, um, and that's just like for a few of you, like maybe someone's birthday or you're just kind of being triggered in some sort of way, um, or even if it's not someone you've lost, it's just something that you've been through or you're currently going through is very triggering, showing up for you guys this week. All right. So let's pull this up, air signs, and see what else comes out for you. If this is hidden home for you and you would like to book a private reader with me, check out the description box below in regards to how to book a private session with me. Yeah, and we got the Nine of Swords. So you already had suffering in silence, right? Let me pull that card. It's something that you guys are stressing about. It's something that's just very... Um, I feel like you just you're being mistreated in a situation like you're being treated unfairly or there's some sort of abuse here there's some some sort of like secrets that you've been keeping you've been protecting someone okay for some time or maybe just scared to speak up and say something you know scared for your own you know safety but suffering in silence here and then at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords this is the same energy all right six of cups you could be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio um or this is some sort of connection this is in regards to like some sort of relationship here five of pentacles the empress king of pentacles i'm hearing something about like what goes on behind closed doors or what goes on in the dark is coming to the light we had that light card right um that flipped out so something somebody's being exposed for exactly who they are um, or somebody's being called out about doing you wrong. Okay, we got the seven of swords energy, very deceptive type was done in the dark. Something, mm -mm. somebody's energy around you, um, air signs, is just very deceptive, is very um, low vibrational, is very like manipulative, narcissistic is what I'm getting here. King of swords, very much so um, like a dictator. And then we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Somebody is just controlling three or so. Like, I'm getting, like, somebody forcing you against your will. All right, let's see what else, Spirit. Um, Or somebody just, like, I'm just getting, like, manipulation manipulation, as I say that, the damn magician at the bottom of the deck. Like, somebody abusing their power. Five of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's like a lot of fighting, arguing, but somebody likes to make it look good on the outside. Um, four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Hangman. I just really feel like you guys don't know what to do in the situation, Air Signs. A couple of more shuffles, Spirit. What messages do we have for the Air Signs this week? All right. I really just get the energy of somebody being exposed, whether this is you exposing this person, five of cups, you could be letting go of the situation, nine of wands, three of wands. A lot of you guys are, um, are like, it's like you're sneaking away from whatever or whoever this is. All right. Let's see spirit. Um, for some of you guys, I don't know why I just picked up on like a child because I saw the page of wands could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius. For some of you guys, this is a child that's coming to you or someone who's younger, this damn devil card that's coming to you. Okay. Um, somebody's being like mistreated or abused here. Somebody's not who they say they are. Okay. I'm getting a very like, um, um, just mentally not right individual um 
like devil in a red dress type energy too. Spirit, what messages do we have for the air signs this week? All right, so let's see. Um, but yeah, this could be a child or just someone coming to you um, or you finding out about some sort of like mistreatment or abuse or something like that. Ten of Cups, for some of you guys, it's, it's in your family with this Ten of Cups. It's some sort of, it's some sort of like bogus, messy family situation going on here. Or maybe somebody that you created a family with. Five of Wands, yeah. The Fool card, I don't know why I'm getting like somebody running away. Okay, so however this is resonating for you, um, air signs, like just, just leaving, like literally just taking the bag or the little sack that they have on their back and just leaving. And this is what they're leaving. It's either family here, some sort of chaos or fighting in the home. I don't know if this is you or a child or what's going on here, going on here. Um, but something is, I'm getting the energy of like a tower moment. We got the Hierophant here. Something about seeking counsel, okay? Because I was picking up on like spirituality, a spiritual leader, or somebody who can help you. A Taurus could be significant, okay? Seven of Pentacles. Or something about like a home. You leaving to go to like someone else's home or someone coming to your home seeking help, seeking counsel from you. We got the temperance card, six of cups. It's something about something not um, being what it seems here. The damn nine of swords came right back out. And it's like you don't know what to do. And it's in the middle of your energy. This foolish energy, just not knowing what to do, where to go. It's just... Um, Almost like you're at a loss for words this week, air signs. Let's see. Five of Swords. Some of you guys could be married. Okay, the tire fine is here, or it's it's something that you're committed to um, that's causing you to feel this way, or that's just very low vibrational, or it's just not um, appreciating you or treating you right, or it's abusive, however it's resonating for you. Um and somebody is just trying so hard to hide it, though. Whoever's the individual in the wrong could be seen to the public as like a stand-up guy, stand-up um, woman, a stand-up person. They could be seen as just very high in regard. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up on like pastor energy, too, just with this higher fit. Something funny could be going on in the church. Okay, if you um, um, are like a member of a church or something like that. Or somebody is just like, or somebody's trying to protect this person that you know is in the wrong. Or you, this is you, you've been trying to protect this person for so long, but now I just feel like it's this breaking point this week, um, air signs. And then we got the judgment card. Somebody here knows that they're in the wrong. They know that they will be judged harshly, okay, for whatever it is that they are doing that they shouldn't be. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. You're not happy. Like something here, it looks like it's all rainbows and peace and balance on the outside, but I just keep hearing, but behind closed doors. Somebody here is miserable. Knight of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it could be something in regards to money or you not having the money for something. Or somebody like tricked you, like somebody maybe sold you a dream or manipulated you in some sort of way. Just be cautious um, of who you trust, okay? This entire message might not resonate with you. Maybe it's bits and pieces, but it's something about like you trusting someone or somebody who was supposed to protect you or guide you um, or protect or guide your children or somebody underage or something like that. Um, trickster energy. That's what the devil is. A lot of trickster energy. The full too, to be honest. So Aries, Aquarius could be significant. We're here with the star card. Somebody could be promising to like change or 
change their behaviors or heal a dynamic or something like that if you um don't leave or you want to continue to commit or if you don't say anything somebody's trying to somebody has been silencing you that's where that suffering and silence okay it's coming from and it's nine of swords i feel like you've been silenced for so long you've been keeping this in for so long you've been protecting someone for so long or this is someone for some of you guys i'm really picking up on like a child you know old enough to talk and say something but like a child um speaking up about some sort of abuse in the home or in the family somebody's uncle could be significant i really don't even like this energy y'all and then we got the six of swords you're being guided out of this situation though um spiritually guided whoever's in the wrong here is definitely gonna face some harsh judgment and i feel like it's at its breaking point like it's real close to somebody getting caught it's real close to somebody speaking up is something is real close to this dirty laundry airing out and we got this two of swords i feel like you guys air signs um depending on how this is resonating for you you are making a choice to no longer deal with this okay if that's getting away running away ex um separating um exposing somebody seeking help seeking counsel page of wands four of cups three of wands moon card justice yeah you could be dealing with a cancer or um a libra that may be able to help you as well all right but for a lot of you guys, this is just the end. It's like you are on the outside of whatever this is that you are or have been going through. Okay, something is shifting for you guys this week or in the life of somebody that you know that's dealing with this. So I'm going to leave it here. Please leave me a comment below letting me know if or how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. And I will see you next time.